Grade 6 Math, number 12.9b, Part 2 of Perimeter and Area of Composite Figures. As we said in the first video, 12.9, a composite figure is made up of two or more simpler figures, like triangles or quadrilaterals, maybe even some circles. And we said that we could find the area for a composite figure by using the same formulas that we always use to find area. For this figure, in the last video, we found out that the area was 31 square units. We broke it into sections by drawing dotted lines like this one that created a square that was 2 by 2 and a rectangle that was 3 by 8 and this little triangle. We found the area for each, totaled them all up, and got our total square units. For the perimeter, all we had to do was add the exterior measures. We added the 6, 3, 8, 5, 3, 3 and a half, and the 2 all around the outside, totaled them up, and the exterior, the perimeter, is 30.5 30 .5 units. So whatever units we could use, inches, feet, miles, centimeters, millimeters, I didn't specify. That's what it would be. It would be 30.5. Now for the area, it would be square units. Remember that, okay? When a figure has another figure inside of it and one part is shaded, we can find the area of the shaded figure. By following the formula for both shapes, we then subtract the one area from the other. So this blue rectangle has a little white square inside of it. We can see the blue rectangle is 4 feet wide and 8 feet long. So all we have to do is multiply the 8 times 4, we get 32, and we subtract the 2 times 2 square that's inside of it, the 4. So we have 32 minus 4, so the blue shaded area is 28 square units, see? For the perimeter, we just add the exterior measures. If this is 4, then this is 4. If this is 8, then that's 8. We add the 8 plus 4 and 8 plus 4, and we get 24 for the perimeter, see? The formulas for area for a square is A is equal to side times side. For the rectangle, it's length times width. For a triangle, it's half times the base times the height. And for a circle, it's pi times the radius times the radius. And remember, the formula for circumference is pi times the diameter. Well, if we have this purple ring with a white circle inside of it, and they want us to find the area for just the purple ring, well, we find the area for the entire circle. Then we find the area for the green and white circle on the inside, and we subtract that from the big one. So the radius is 6 inches because we've got 4 and 2. For the entire circle, it would be 6. So for the entire circle, we find after plugging in the information to the formula, pi r squared, we get 3.14 times 6 times 6, or times 36, and then doing our math, our multiplication, we find out it's 115.04 units. Then we use the radius of 4 for the inner green and white circle, and we find out that its area is 50.24 after plugging it into the formula. We subtract the 50.24 from the 115.04, and we find out the green ring by itself is 64.80 square units, just for the purple ring part, okay? The perimeter would be the outer edge. It would be the circumference, and the circumference is pi times the diameter. So if this is 6, then the diameter is 12. So we do 3.14 times 12, and we get 37.68. And in fact, this should say approximate, shouldn't it? We should be using that approximate symbol here, the two wavy lines. All right. Now we've got two triangles. And if we need to find the area of the yellow part, what we do is we find the area for the entire thing and subtract the area of the littler one from it. So the littler teal and white guy, it's half times base times height. It's got a height of 2, but the whole thing has a height of 2 plus 2 and a half, so that's 4 and a half. But just the little teal and white guy is 2, and its base is 2. 
So we do our math and we plug it into the formula and we get that half times 4 is the area or 2 square units is the area of this one. Then we find the area of the entire thing. 2 and 2 and 2 is 6, so we know the base is 6 and we know the height is 4 and a half. We do our math and we get an area of 13.5 square units. We take the two square units from the 13.5 square units and we know the yellow shaded area is 11.5 units. To find the perimeter for it, we just add up the exterior. And if it were an equal lateral triangle, it would be 6 and 6 and 6. See? It would be 18. What if you've got a square like this with another twisted kind of turn square inside of it? Well, it doesn't matter what direction it's leaning. If we know one side is 3, we know all the sides are 3. And if this one side is 6, we know all the sides are 6. So the area for a square is the side times the side. So 6 times 6 would be 36. And for the inside purple and white one, it would be 3 times 3, which is 9. We subtract the 9 from the 36, and we get 27 square units for the pink shaded area. And then the perimeter is 4 times 6. The 6 side areas, and there's 4 of them. So that would be 24. See? So that is the perimeter and area of composite figures. Just subtract the one measure from the other. You need to find both of the areas and then subtract the smaller one from the larger one. And then you've got your area of the shaded part. See? Very easy. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.